Jalen Williams is a name that you better start getting used to. With averages of 19, 4, and 4, I know the box score won't tell you he's some elite player, but there are so many different layers to his game that allow him to make an all-star type of impact on the one seed and suggest his ceiling is actually a lot higher than what we had initially anticipated. Playing next to one of the best shot creators in the NBA, he's obviously going to spend a lot of time away from the ball. In these spots, he's a really smart mover. Watch him here, just kind of floating towards the baseline as Shea starts his attack, then once that pressure is applied, he darts back door for an easy catch and finish. He's really good at reading the defense to set himself up for high quality opportunities. This time they're running some set action, and instead of using a cross screen, he rejects it on a cut, which once again leads to free points. Sometimes they'll even use him as a ball screener. More often than not, Shea is going to draw two to the ball, so by quickly slipping, he's left with a ton of room to turn into a jumper. Most of his time away from the ball, though, is spent out on the perimeter. Shea's in a tough spot, and you can see Jadup relocating to make himself an available target before immediately putting it down on a drive as he gets to the rim for a layup. Typically, when he's on the perimeter, he's spacing the floor as a shooter. On the season, he's attempting about two catch-and-shoot threes a game and hitting an impressive 46% of them. Leave him open, and you're just asking to be punished. However, it is still somewhat of a small sample. So, if you also include last season, well, he still made over 40%. That's some great offense. As a result, he demands closeouts when playing off the catch, which opens up probably his best attribute as a player, the slashing. He's really good at reading closeouts and perfectly timing up his attack to beat them off the dribble, then when help comes, he goes to a floater over the top. Here's the thing though, J-Dub's ability to drive the basketball doesn't just come as a result of playing off the catch or attacking aggressive closeouts. He's more than capable of creating advantages himself. He's not a guy who's going to pop off the screen as an athlete. You won't find that explosive first step to leave defenders in the dust, or some high-flying vertical finishes around the rim, but what he lacks in explosiveness, he makes up for with two key traits, strength and length. Despite standing 6'5", the dude's got an outlandish 7'2 wingspan, meaning that if he gets just a fraction of a step by his defender's hip, the advantage is already won and he's pretty good at setting up these drives with his handle. You've got a left hand hezzy that he throws right back between his legs to start on a drive right, and like I said, just that step is all he needs to get a layup. 